Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm just up the trail about 50 feet from Snoopers Rock. There's a ton of people here this morning. It's a Thursday. It's about 10 or 15 minutes until sunrise and the overlook is absolutely packed. But I've already set up one camera that's making a video that I'll probably speed up and make a time lapse out of and hopefully I'll be able to get a spot and set up another camera and make a photograph of the sunrise here at Snoopers Rock. I don't know how I get so lucky, but every time I come here, there's a cloud inversion. Well, I started out using my Rokinon 14 millimeter, and before the sun came up, I, I changed my mind and decided to put on the 24 to 70 2.8, um, I mean, taking in the entire Vista was not quite possible with the 14 millimeter lens and the, where the sun was rising, there was a bend in the river just below it. So I, I thought a, a slightly more telephoto shot would work. And I made lots and lots of photos. Here is a two shot panorama, only two shots for this panorama. This was made with the Rokinon 14 millimeter lens and it's an adapted lens. This is a Nikon F mount lens and it's manual focus, manual aperture. And I think I had the aperture at F 5.6, maybe F 8. I'm not exactly sure. I put F 8 in the area below the photo, but I'm not sure if it was 5.6 or 8. 1 25th of a second, two shot panorama with the 14 millimeter lens. And this is before the sun crested the mountain in the background. And then I switched over, as I mentioned in the previous clip, I switched over to the 24-70 f2.8 Canon lens, and this is a 59 millimeter shot. F22, just as the sun was cresting the mountain, here's another f22 shot. And on this one, I did get some uh, sun stars or light stars a little bit coming off of the sun as it was cresting the mountain in the background. Now this is another panorama, but this one I believe was 12 shots and I turned the camera vertical and I think it was 58 millimeters. And this is a huge, huge file. Yes, 58 millimeters, F13, 1 100th, 12 shot panorama with the camera turned vertically. And this one was post sunrise where the previous panorama was pre sunrise. And we'll look at it once again in the other direction. Just lots and lots of data. As a matter of fact, I think this panorama is 85 and a half megapixels in size. Then I made a little selfie. There were some other photographers there. A couple of really good photographers uh, were kind enough to share the point of Snoopers Rock with me. And I made a selfie of us. And then looking across over on the left-hand side where the sun was not rising where the sun's rising to the right of this. I really like that area over there, very beautiful. And I made a selfie, 27 millimeter shot. And then this is kind of a more up close shot, 70 millimeters F13, 1 80th of a second, looking at that interesting area where the mountains dip into the clouds with the Tennessee River below. The ZFC has a 30 minute record time and we have 37 seconds left. So I might as well shoot the entire 30 minutes. Uh. I put the long lens on now, the 100 to 500, and I've got a, a kind of a minimalist composition here where that mountain comes down into the clouds with the river below. I made a number of photographs with the long lens of this particular area of the Tennessee River Gorge. I thought it was really beautiful, but this 114 millimeter shot was the one I ended up liking the best. I love that there's still a little bit of pink in the sky. And this photo is really kind of minimalist. I showed this photo to a couple of my camera buddies and they didn't seem to like it that much. But I'm pretty thrilled with it and I'm happy that I was able to share it with you. And while I was working on this particular area, I made one final selfie there with the 100 to 500. This is a 100 millimeter shot. All right, that was a blast. Had a really good time, made some good photographs, or I hope they came out good. Hope you enjoyed them. Thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.